For those of you that have been around Counter-Strike since the early days, you'll probably know that a large amount of the maps could be spammed with most weapons or wall banged as the phrase is commonly known. And what this means is that you can spam through a wall or a surface to hit a player on the other side. In CSGO that doesn't have quite the same effectiveness, but there are still some surfaces and places that can be spammed to get you that extra advantage. As we go on, I'm going to cover some of the rules of spamming. First off, wood is pretty much always spammable by most weapons. In Mirage at Connector, there's now a wooden panel that you're able to spam through. And you can shoot through this panel with anything including a pistol and it's going to do damage to the player behind it. That's nice and simple. The same applies to the area under balcony near a palace or shadow as some people call it. And this can be spammed in defense and in attack. If you're attacking from palace, you can spam the near corner and that's going to potentially hurt any player that's sat in the opposite corner. Or likewise, if you're coming up from the ramp and you can jump onto Tetris, which is the name for the boxes, you can spam through the wood to get any player that's sat in the other corner. As with any wall bangable place though, it works both ways. So if there's someone under balcony, they can spam you back in palace. And of course, they can spam you back if you're on the boxes at the ramp. So always remember, if you spam an area, you're going to give your position away and the enemy could start shooting back and might in fact kill you. Also on A, the wooden boxes can be spammed, so you need to be extra careful. The boxes that have missiles showing are the ones that are solid and can't be spammed through, although there are some instances where you need to be careful. It's not so much of an issue on this map, but the larger missile boxes can be shot through if you aim between the missiles. It's only really successful with the AWP though, and it's worth knowing for other maps, but on this one, it's not particularly useful. Mid-window is another typical area where people will try to spam through the corners of the windows. And because of the way spamming works, if you hit it at the right angle with a rifle, it can actually penetrate certain areas, but it can be pretty hit and miss. With an AWP though, it's going to penetrate both left and right sides of the window, and also the bottom part of the window as well, so you've got to be careful when you're playing in this position. And when you're attacking, you can use it to your advantage. This also highlights the fact that some weapons, including the AWP, penetrate surfaces that even the AK-47 cannot. Top of mid can be quite a vulnerable place as well, as pretty much all of the cover can be shot through. But as you can see though, the angle is very important. If you aren't at the correct angle when you shoot through the cover, sometimes a lot of bullets, if not all of them, might not actually penetrate. Lastly, two fairly simple common spots over on the B bomb site. The bench at the back of the bomb site can be fully spammed. It's actually a really tough place to hold because of that. And there's a wooden window that you can also spam through on the B site that's going to hit anyone who's in the upper B kitchen or maybe anyone who's just walking along there depending on where you hit it. Of course, the same can be done the other way around as well. So be prepared to get spammed back if you start hitting someone. They're going to be pretty mad. And those are the most common spots you can use on Mirage, and you can expect guys on all other maps as well. I hope you guys found this useful. Spamming is very important in CSGO and can net you a big advantage, whether that's damaging a player or even killing them outright. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.